Welcome, we are the start of another weekend. This will be the last weekend on the robot, uh, regardless. I will be finished with it. I am um, been futzying around with it and I need to be done with it. So now uh, this last weekend uh, I will be going full bore on it to get it finished. Uh, the base looks different from the last time you saw it and I, will, I have already shot video about that so I will edit that in after it. But uh, the goal for this week is to, for the weekend, is to finish a robot. I have chest details, I've got to touch up the silver paint, uh, I have one little thing on the head, and then I need to put it on this base, and this base is going to get uh, the most loving attention of the weekend. So let's get on with it. Hello, this is a midweek report that I will cut into the uh, rest of the weekend's work. Um, had a bit of a snafu with the uh, Lost in Space base. The glue after two days was still not dry. It was st still not even showing any signs of drying. So I scraped it all off. Uh, to quote the, the prophet uh, Taylor Swift, I shook it off. And this is what I'm left with. As you can see, even the rocks, some of them aren't even stuck down. So, uh, and this is the tiny bit that was left. So what I did is I uh, pulled out that brown paint, painted some more, tried to push some stuff down to see if it would stick. And now I'm backing up and punting and not using the uh, Elmer's glue and diluted water business. That routine just did not work for me. So I think the next step is going to be uh, adhesive spray and then we'll try that and if that doesn't work we'll pull out the hot glue gun i'm gonna hot glue the rocks down and some of these bigger bushes i am going to go ahead and just glue those down but i'm going to try to get some ground cover out of just uh, shooting it with some spray mount this is take two of the uh, robot base uh, last time as you recall we left our heroes spraying liquid uh, Elmer's glue on a base unaware that it would take forever to dry and never completely do it so I scraped all that off and uh, this is being this is put down with contact cement or um, spray adhesive the stuff they put down uh, countertops with so I, I sprayed some on the base and I've been patting the uh, the uh, flocking into it and I can already tell that a it's dry but B, it's also sticking. So uh, we're going to let that sit. I was even, even able to put some around the edge. Now I may touch these back up with some hot glue or something to get them to, to stick up against the edge. But that's definitely uh, better results than I got from the watered down Elmers. So we'll let this dry overnight and uh, see what kind of touching up it needs. This is the state of things at the end of Friday evening. Uh, this is just sitting on here for right now, but I've got uh, fresh silver paint, tarnished silver, on the body. I've got a little bit of touch-up paint of that vinyl on the legs. And tomorrow I will go back in with this metallic and retouch over where I slopped some of the vinyl gray. It is Saturday evening, seven-ish, and I have to be physically restrained from overworking this robot. I need to take my mind off of it and do something else. Um, I've gone around and touched the metal with a little bit of uh, uh, stainless steel over the aluminum. I've gone around and touched the arms with more of the Bulldog and the vinyl fabric paints. Uh, I have decanted them into the airbrush and sprayed them in smaller and smaller uh, bits. I am in the danger of overworking this thing, so I need to... Uh, that's why I picked the camera up. I said, uh, let's uh, stop 
for quite a few minutes and uh, work on doing something else. Uh, really, the robot has come down to looking at each individual part and see what do I need to do to absolutely finish it. Um, and the first thing I did was finally paint that yellow on the fin. So the brain is finished. Um, I've got the chest piece details in, so they are finished. Uh, every time I touch the silver, I got some more on the tread. So uh, again, for the lack of uh, wanting to work it and overwork it, I am going to let everything dry overnight and come back tomorrow afternoon and do one last pass uh, with the tiniest of tiny brushes and fix finish everything. But um, I am very happy with the results to this point, and I am willing to call it done um, just to the point of this first one. Now let me, I'm going to attach the brain, and then I'm going to take it out in the other room and make it uh, sit it overnight so that I stop working on it. Yeah, buddy, I'm ready to call this thing done for the day, and then do some final, final touch-ups tomorrow. Let's go out and put it on the base. Well, my friends, we have reached a historic milestone. Not only is the robot done, yay, huzzah, but the table is cleaned off, and that's probably a bigger, uh, a, a bigger um, landmark than you'd think. It is quite a, a while since this table has been cleaned off to this extent. And I wanted to show you how the robot turned out. Now, as usual, I'm going to try to make some sort of qualification on it. And the only qualification I'll make on this is uh, I still wish I had some better robot sound clips to, to load in there. My, the quality isn't uh, what I'd hoped it to be. But that's a, that's a niggling point. That's neither here nor there. It is, uh, it is a done thing. Now, I went around and touched everything at least one more time. And when I put the arms in, I'll be, truthfully tell you, it flaked off a bunch of paint. That Bulldog adhesive and the vinyl paint that I used still let me down when it came to the uh, resiliency of it. So I did have to go back with both of them and airbrush them both out. And I decanted them into the airbrush and uh, sprayed them on that way rather than using the big rattle cans but you can maybe see some on this arm where I had to patch it in it it, it did clean up pretty good though so what have we learned Dorothy well um, I learned some stuff that I will carry on to the next robot certainly that's where the power pack is in case you're wondering uh, so that uh, that vinyl paint uh, wasn't the be all end all solution that I thought it was going to be. Uh, those seams are still a mama. Let me pop in my. Uh... I am sorry, Will Robinson. I am afraid I goofed. Caution, caution. There is danger. My computer is the best on earth. And you're welcome. Now the speaker could be a little louder. That's one of my. I, I kind of like the uh, this the volume of it because I don't like it when it's overbearing and it just uh, drowns out everything around it, especially if it's at a show. So uh, I would like it to be a little bit louder, but I'll live with it for what it is. Uh, that's the the light that's in the belly that turned out real nice. Um, here's a problem that I'm going to touch up. The, the uh, chest lights, the red one and the green one. I painted many coats of uh, chrome, uh, chrome silver around those basils. And yet it's still letting light through. So I'm thinking on the next one. Well, this one I'm gonna, I can still touch it up. It's, I'm not writing it off in any extent. But the next one, maybe I want to wrap a foil tape around those to um, 
seal that a little bit better. I was worried about putting too many coats of white over that for fear of blocking the red and green LEDs too much. Uh, let's see. Trying to, trying to focus in on the, uh, the writing on those. There we go. So those decals work just fine. I did have a problem with the bubbles that are in the clear parts. That's those dark spots you see are because of actual bubbles. This is from that circuit. I love it. Let me get a close-up on this voice here. Just fine. Okay. But that's the final report on this robot. But that's, that's the happy robot. Now, the torso does rotate. The wrists rotate. The claws open and close. The head is not on permanently so that I can get in and if I have to do any work on it. The ear rotates. The soil sampler, I can push it back in and tuck that door shut. So all in all, it's got a lot of good mobility to it. Um, a lot of good posable alternatives. And now I start making the laundry list of improvements for the second version. So until then, Aztec Dummy signing off.